Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So today's video we are going to be reviewing the Laura Lee Los Angeles uh, makeup brush collection that she launched just a little bit ago. Um, I did get the palette as well, the Nudie Patootie, so we will be diving into this today. So if today's video is going to interest you, if you want to see how these brushes are going to do, then keep on watching. If not, you know the drill for this channel. There's the door. Or bye. So that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, so first things first, um, this is going to be the last video, you guys, if you see me with my glasses, because I get surgery tomorrow. Um, in case you don't know, I am having corrective eye surgery. Um, a LASIK basically is what it's called. Um, so that is why I've been in my glasses for the last couple weeks because they request that I not wear my contacts. I am kind of nervous though because they're going to be like in your eye. So I don't know. It's, it's a little weird. Okay, enough of me rambling. Let's talk about the brushes. So these did launch on August the 7th on her website. Um, it is a, this bag is so cute. So I did purchase the bundle. Um, which retails for $60. You get the 10 piece brush set that is in the bag. You get the bag as well, which feels really nice. Like love the rose gold ties in with everything. Um, it also came with her nudie patootie palette, um, which I have never tried any of her eyeshadows. So I'm kind of intrigued. We will be dipping into this today. So a little bit about the brush set. The actual brush set with the bag retails for $45 if you were just to purchase this. It is sold out at the moment, so if you like this review, you can kind of you're going to have to kind of wait until it gets back into um, stock again. So it is 10 brushes that are in the collection. It does say that this is an $82 value for $45, so you're already getting a pretty good discount. Then on top of that, if you did purchase it with the palette, basically $45 for this and the for the makeup brushes in the bag. And then you got the nudie patootie palette for $15. So, I mean, that's either way. I was like, that's a good deal. So she did know what she was doing. Okay, so I am gonna do my makeup today on camera just to kind of show you how the brushes work, how they, you know, just kind of how they apply the makeup. Um, they feel really nice. I love the rose gold on it. Um, the nude base, I really, really enjoy that. Um, they're all labeled and of course it says the Laura Lee Los Angeles um, Her logo on the brushes as well um, Let's see it does come with a so the set does come with a flat kabuki brush Which is this one which would be great for your foundation stuff like that L12 is a tapered powdered brush which will be this one which would be good for setting your makeup stuff like that that angle is really good to get up under your under eye um, to set your makeup. So that is going to be a really good brush. Then we have L13, which is a beautiful blender, um, which is really good. It says rounded contour brush, um, which is going to be this one. This is going to be L13. So you can kind of see what the brush kind of looks like as I spin it. It's just a normal dome, um, very nice loose bristle. So that'd be really good to, to blend out your bronzer or contour. Um, then we have L14, which is a more angled brush, which this one is saying that you could use um, for brush or, I'm sorry, that you can use this one for blush or for bronzer. Um, this one for me is honestly probably going to be a better blush brush than using it for um, contouring. Just because you could really use the L13 to really bronze as well to really get into those cheekbones and stuff like that. So the next one after that is gonna be L15, which is this brush, which is gonna be more of a highlight brush. So that way you can really get on those high points of your cheeks and apply your high, your powder highlighters. So that's a good brush. Definitely dip into that today. We have L16, which is gonna be your pencil brush, which is this one right here. So that looks nice. So that'll be a good one. Let's see what else. We got L17, which is this one, which is just gonna be your standard lid shader brush. Um, I usually call these packer brushes just cause you can really like pack the shadow on. Um, usually those are really good for either cutting the crease or I use those to either cut the crease 
or to place like maybe a metallic or um, like a pressed glitter or something like that where I need the bristles to be more dense. The next one is gonna be L18, which is just your standard blending brush. So this will be good to really like blend shadows out and everything like that. We have L19, which is gonna be your oval shader. So you can see how it's a more kind of opened brush. That one's really good as well to apply shadows, um, stuff like that. Lower lash line as well as what it says. Um, very densely packed, so that'll be a good one. And last but not least, we have L20, which is going to be your eyeliner brush, uh, which I usually don't really use these because I usually use like a, a felt tip liner or anything like that. Alrighty, so I'm super excited. So like I did say, um, the bag feels really, really nice. It says Laura Lee Los Angeles here in the corner. We have the rose gold accent um, zipper, which is beautiful. Feels really, really good quality. Um, she does say that you can fit the Nudie Patootie palette into um, the bag. So let's try that because she said, so if you have not seen this palette, this is what it looks like. Beautiful, stunning. Let's open her up. I have not really... I've seen it online, but oh, those are beautiful. <gasps> those shades. Oh my God, that is such a gorgeous palette. Okay, wow. Mirror looks very, very nice. Okay, so let's see. She did say you could put this in the bag, which I want to try. So she says if you go in at an angle, which, okay, girl, are you sure? Are you sure your bag's not a little extended? Um, hold on. Am I, is it me? What's going on? Hold on. Girl, how am I supposed to get around that zipper? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so she says if you go at an angle with your palette, go to the corner, and then, okay, I got that corner down. So we got one corner in. Thank God. Okay, let's get this other corner in. Okay, I'm like, no, that's not fitting. Is that fitting? That is not gonna fit in there. No way. She, she crazy. Oh my God, I think I got it, I think I got it. Okay, okay, it's in there. Um, girl. <laughs> Can y'all see this bowing <laughs> that's happening in this bag? Okay, Laura, I think you should have made the bag just a little bit bigger. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see how it's bowing? This is where the palette's at. <laughs> I got it in there, but it was a struggle. So maybe the bag needs to get, maybe just because manufacturing and stuff like that, like the bag is just kind of shrunk a little bit. Maybe it needs to get stretched out a little bit. Like, you know, get kind of worn and used a little bit and then maybe it'll fit in there, but it, it was a struggle to get that in there, so. Okay, well let's go ahead and prime real quick. I am gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. I've been really liking this primer lately. Just for that glowy, dewy skin. Um, let me take my glasses off. I'm not going to go too heavy today with foundation. I um, kind of want to keep it light. So doing something kind of like a glow primer um, would really just like make my skin look really, really good. So just going to apply that everywhere on my face. Okay. And what I love about that primer is it leaves your face a little tacky. So that way anything that you, any kind of foundation or tinted moisturizer or anything like that's really gonna stick to your face, so. Alrighty, so for today, my foundation I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna use the Morphe 2. This is the Hint Hint Skin Tint. Um, this is a sheer to medium coverage, so it really will be kind of light today. I am in the shade Almond, Hint of Almond, <laughs> um, which is just a medium with neutral undertones kind of shade. It does come in a dropper. Um, so I am gonna go in and put with the L11, which is just that night flat top kabuki brush. Um, this is a very dense brush, so I'm really excited to see how this is gonna work with applying um, any kind of foundations or anything like that. Oh, that might be too much. It's gonna, well, the brush feels very, very nice. It is dense. Um, it is absorbing quite a bit of the product, but that's kind of to be expected with a new brush. This skin tint though is a very, very sheer. 
there is this skin tint place. The brush feels very, very nice. Um, it looks like it absorbed a lot of the project as well, but that could be just because I was using a very liquidy foundation and the bristles just absorbed a lot of it. Um, this skin tint though is very, very sheer. So we are gonna be a very sheer coverage foundation, like very sheer coverage today, which is fine. I just thought there would be a little bit more. It looked like there was gonna be a little bit more pigment in here than than what I'm getting. All right, I am gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. The ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I am in the shade Medium 20. I am just gonna use a little bit just to kind of highlight under here, kind of get rid of some of my my darkness over here. Put some on the forehead and just kind of go down. Still gonna go back in with that L11 and just kind of blend that out since there's a little bit of foundation on here still. And this brush is blending everything out just beautifully, so that is nice. These brushes are very good quality. Um, you can see by just the bristles. I mean, it does absorb product, which every brush is gonna do that. That's, you know, that's just what's gonna happen. All right, let's go ahead and set the under eye and the whole face. I'm gonna go in with my Ciate London Everyday Vacay Powder. This is just in translucent, grab a little bit out. I am gonna go in with the L12, that's gonna be the more pointed brush. This is gonna be really good for getting under the eye and setting the under eye area. So we're just gonna take that brush. Ooh, I love that this brush is so lightly, um, it's very fluffy, so you can really get that powder everywhere. I do like that. I really like this brush. <laughs> this might be my new favorite under eye brush. Usually I use, um, usually I've been using this brush, which is the Morphe E48 to really get under there. But this one, since it's a lot smaller, see the difference between the two? You can really like get under that under eye and really get into those corners and set that under eye. So this might be my new favorite brush, Laura. I'm excited. I love that brush. Now, it's not going to be as great um, setting everywhere else, but I'm still going to go back and just kind of lightly, I'm going to lightly go by and just kind of dust my whole face with some powder. Y'all know I don't like to, I don't like things to move, so I usually set everything into place. The only thing that was not in that collection was a nice big fluffy brush, and I usually like to go back after I kind of set everything, just to kind of dust everything off. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe uh, 527 brush which is just a nice fluffy brush. Usually I'll get anything. This has been just kind of my favorite one that I will just kind of dust everything off. So next thing we're gonna go into is a uh, bronzer. Um, I'm gonna go in with my NARS bronzer. This is in the shade Casino. Um, the brush I'm going to use is gonna be the L13, just because the way that this shape is would be perfect for me to do my cheeks and around my forehead and stuff, and especially down the nose. I'm probably, this one's meant for bronzer as well or blush, but I will probably use the L14 more for blush, um, just cause that's what's gonna fit my needs. But they're both interchangeable. Um, but I think I'm gonna use this one more for, for bronzing. All right, so this is a nice fluffy brush. Picks up the product nicely. Go right here. Ooh, I love this brush. Okay, that really is distributing the product very, very well. Ooh, that is blending it out like a dream. Okay. Wow, I only went in there with one dunk. That is looking gorgeous. Okay, these brushes might be my new favorite. Like I said, they're very, very soft. They're very, very, um, these are more fluffy. But that is blending out beautifully. It picks up the product and like these, I mean, you can see it's, it's you know, it's on the brush, but it's not absorbing so much of the product that you can't achieve what you're wanting to achieve. Oh, that is looking beautiful. Okay, let's go down the nose real quick. Just gonna go in with the same brush to see how it'll, how it'll work around the nose. Well, that looks pretty good, I would say. Wow, okay, let's do a little blush now. I'm gonna go in with my favorite palette. I've been loving this palette so far. 
Um, this is the Moon Pris This is by Lunar Beauty, the Moon Prism Blush Palette. Love all these. These are just so gorgeous. So I am going to take that more angled brush. This is the L14. I'm going to dip in. This is my favorite shade right now, which is going to be Twilight, which is that more peachy blush. Ooh, that looks good. Just kind of stamp that on and blend it out. Oh, these brushes are so soft, y'all. Well, that applied a lot of product. <laughs> I only dipped once. Okay. So, yeah, I'm used to the, I uh, usually use a Morphe E4. Is usually my brush, blush brush that I usually use, um, which absorbs quite a bit of the product. These do not. These are really, really good at just like distributing the product and not so much. I mean, a little bit's left over on the brush, but it really does apply it to your face. I really, really like that. Because these are a very sheer buildable blush. So I know they're not super, super pigmented to where, okay, this brush set is like, wow. Okay. It's impressing me so far. Like, look at that. That's so beautiful. Okay. Good for her. Good for her. You're doing good so far, Laura. You're doing good so far. You're impressing me. All right. So next thing we are going to go in with the L15 brush, which is this one. This is going to be really good for highlighting. Very, very, they're, other than the Kabuki, all the rest of them are very fluffy. They're still kind of dense, but they're very fluffy, very much going to blend out everything. So the only one that's really, really densely packed is going to be the Kabuki, which is normal so i am gonna go in with this color pop highlighter this is in euro trip um this is just a nice i've already like damaged the pan but this has been a nice pretty let's see see how well this brush is gonna apply my highlight Ooh, well that looks beautiful that brush this brush is applied it pretty much effortlessly there we go wow okay so there's that now let me do my eyebrows off camera and prime my lids and let's jump into the nudie patootie palette Alrighty, guys so i went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and then i primed my lids um of course i went with my anastasia beverly hills eye primer i've been loving this stuff so next we're gonna dive into the nudie patootie palette um which of course if you don't remember these Gorgeous neutral shades. <laughs> um, I'm going to create an eye look. I'm going to use as many of the, br the leftover brushes as I can, but I'm going to try to do something simple where I'm not going to use as many brushes. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first brush I'm going to dive into is going to be the L18, which is going to be, of course, just the nice um, fluffy crease brush. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is Strip, which is that nice mustardy yellow shade, and put that in my crease. Well, these brushes pick up a lot of the powder, but it distributes it so well. Oh, that is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Let's blend it out. Let's sheer it out. Okay, I thought that was going to be a lot lighter. I really thought that that shade was good. Like, see how that shade looks? And then... You know, I'm just like, huh, I thought it was going to be a little bit, a little bit lighter than that. All right, so next brush I'm going to go into is going to be the L16, which is this kind of a brush right now. I'm going to use that to kind of pack in a color on the outside of my lid. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, but naked. <laughs> um, and I'm going to put that on the outside of the crease. Like two dunks, y'all. Like these brushes, I'm very, very impressed. So I'm just going to tap and pat this right here on the outside. Ooh, I love that color. All right, so there we have the butt naked shade laid down. It looks beautiful. All right, next uh, brush I'm going to go into is going to be the L17, which is going to be that nice packer brush. I'm going to see if I can pick up one of these shimmer shades. I'm going to go in with Jaybird. The nice coppery um it doesn't give it justice on camera it kind of has like a green reflect into it so i want to see if i can't put that on the inner part of my lid let's see if we can go in first without any setting spray or wetting the brush 
Looks like it's picking it up so far. So let's see how that's gonna apply it. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. The next brush we're gonna go into is gonna be that oval kind of packer brush. Um, this is gonna be the L19. I'm gonna go in with a strip and just put that on my lower lash line just to kind of tie in everything together. You know, I never would have thought to use this on an, um, to use this brush on my lower lash line, but that's what it said to kind of use it for. And it's applying the product very, very well. All right, so there is not a pointed or like a bullet brush or anything. So I am gonna have to kind of grab one. I use this one all the time to do my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, dark, um, and use that as my inner corner highlight. It'd be a nice white pearl shade. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Man, I wish she would have had a bullet brush though. But it's okay. I'm assuming she's probably gonna come out with more brushes. I'm um, in her collection. This is just kind of like the start, which I'm super excited for because so far those brushes have been working so well. Put a little bit up here under my brow bone. There we go. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Okay. So we pretty much used all of the brushes um, except the liner brush, which I don't really have like a liner that's not on a, that's not in a pen. Let me finish up my makeup real quick and I'll be right back and give you my final thoughts. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and finished up my makeup. So the brushes, I absolutely like them. I really do recommend them. I think that if you are into the rose gold, the nude, coloring um these brushes performed very very well i think they blend things out very very well as well that's too many wells um i think they blend out everything like a dream um kabuki brush for sure is really great for that skin tint um it does absorb a little bit of the product but that's to be expected um the contour brush, I really liked it, distributed the product, really blended it, seamless. The blush brush, it did apply the blush a little heavy, so I know that next time to really go lightly when I'm when I'm going in. So there's that one. The setting powder brush, loved that one, worked really well. The highlight one worked beautifully, as you can see. The eye brushes worked very well as well. Um, they're very nice, they're just very like, fluffy she knew what she was doing you could tell that she put a lot of effort into those um into creating those to make really really excellent brushes so i do actually like them and i will actually be using them from now on <laughs> there's a couple of those that are not going to be my new gems so i really do appreciate it those do retail for 45 dollars for the 10 piece brush set it does come with this beautiful little bag um, I don't know about you, Laura, but I struggled to get the Nudie Patootie palette in there, so. Um, the Nudie Patootie palette, I do recommend this as well. These shades are actually very gorgeous, easy to blend, easy to use. The shimmer shades were easy to apply with a brush. Um, so I think with buying the set, I think that was a really good deal because that's what I did. It was $60 for the brushes, the bag, and the palette. I think that was a really, really good deal because um, I honestly wouldn't have tried this if it wouldn't have been in the deal. So that being said, when this does come back in stock, I strongly recommend that you pick this up I mean the shadows worked great the brushes were really good I mean the quality is just there you can see it this was taken this took time this took effort and I really do appreciate that I will link everything down below so that way you can check it out if you would like that being said guys if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button ring that bell notification so that we know each and every single time I upload a new video why because there will always be something on this channel <laughs> um i am on patreon as well guys if you would like to support my videos i will link all that down below i hope you enjoyed today's review of me reviewing the laura lee los angeles collection the nudie patootie palette and the brushes um if there's anything you would like me to review please sound off on the comments below that being said guys give this video a thumbs up and until the next one bye guys